and fro with a package for you. Bing bong! It's your generic package. Hello? <gasps> Anybody in there? I've got your package. It's Postman Fro with a generic package. Yeah! Oh my god, it's my generic package! What could it be? Yeah! It's so amazing! Alright, Postman Fro, thank you for bringing me more boxes. But the question always is, what is in the box? So, who'd these come from? These came from... Ramesh Parasad. Anyway, that's not like a company or anything, but I gotta get out my trusty knife here so we can open these up. Small box or big box first? Steven, small box or big box first? Small box. Small box? Small box. Here we go, let's open it up, because Postman Fro's always bringing me some cool stuff. If I could actually cut the actual thing, here we go. Ooh, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. This, is that, this isn't even that bubble wrap that you can pop, is it? I guess it is the bubble wrap you can pop. Oh, oh, get, get, get away from me. Shoe bubble wrap. Benro tripod. Which version is this? This is uh, the A48FBS4 video monopod. So it's not even a tripod. All right, I'm gonna open the other box too just so we get both of them out and then we'll take a look at them and sniff them and see what we got here. This is a big er, -er box. This one weighs 15 pounds. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a bigger tripod. I'm always looking for new tripods. I'm always trying to find what's gonna work best for me. And in the last couple of years, the tripod industry has kind of become the same. Everything seems to come off the same line in China for the most part, and, and all tripods are just, they, they just seem the same. So I was at Alan's camera and he's carrying the Ben Rose stuff. And I was like, wow, this is actually working pretty well. So I was using some of this stuff to make a video with and I liked how easy it was to use. All right, so first things first, I should tell you what this one is. This is the Benro C for carbon fiber, 373 FBS8. Video tripod, that's a lot. Comes with a bag. Bags are always good, especially when you're traveling. Ooh, and it has straps inside, so you can strap it down. Video arm, nice with that blue Benro coat. Holy heavy head, oh my god. I hope they don't mind, I'm gonna take this. Oh, I almost was gonna rip it, but I'm not gonna rip it. This is a big, heavy tripod, thus why it weighs 15 pounds. Come on! There we go. Boom. We need these video tripods for here in the studio for when we're shooting raw talk and when we're doing all these different things. Look at the size of the head on here. You could put a red camera on this if you really wanted. There's a bunch of different devices or things that you can do with here. There's the floating head control. If you want it to be uh, move smoother or lighter, you can turn these different dials. You have, oh my God, there's a one, a two, a three on the side of it. You've got the video plate. Look at the size of the video plate. Press this button, it pops out. And you've got a video plate right there. Oh, it has that ABS brake smell. You know that anti-lock brake smell when you turn it on because it's so it stabilizes you? All right, so this is this tripod. I love the fact that they have, I, I don't even know where it is yet or how it works. Where is the button? I don't even know where the button is. I don't even, they have, oh my God, check this out. You press a button. I don't know if you could see it. Let me move this out of the way. You press a button and the level turns a light on inside. Holy, unbelievably, wow. There's so many different options on this thing. I love the fact that I have to, love the fact, I have to figure out how the, oh. You just turn this and it loosens this head. So if it's standing up and you wanna level it, and this is one of the issues I have with some of the other tripods that I've been using, is that I can't find out how to actually do this, like the leveling part. When it's already set up and I'm like, oh, it's tilted to the left or it's tilted to the right, and I just wanna make it move, I can sit here and do this just by turning this knob. So boom, I'm gonna lock that in. So that is a big carbon fiber one. I could imagine if this was the aluminum one, it would be a lot heavier. Oh yeah, another thing, if you wanna make it go uh, leggy McLagerson like this, you just pull on something like this. So 
I was pretty pleased with the Ben Rows when I played with them at Allen's, and that's why I called Ben Rowe and said, hey, I want to play with some of your tripods. So that's why they send it out. And they also make this monopod. I have something very similar to this that Manfrotto made, and I was not happy with it because it never, it didn't stabilize right. I just, I would press down, and now that I say that, let's see if it actually happens with this. I would press down and it would collapse. So you have these feet on the bottom. So it works as a monopod with stability. And you see how that this moves right here? and it allows you to tilt and move with it, that is great for video. So you've got this head right here. This is a fluid head as well. Fluid means that it's fluid. It moves smoothly. Let me tighten this in right here. That's actually not how I would do it, but you, you can see how it moves, and it fluidly moves, and it's nice and stable. So you've got that, and you can see how it could stand up on its own. So this was, and it has the video plate up top here. I'm going to use this with any of my cameras, basically. The problem I had was when I would press down like this with the Manfrotto, it would, it would slink down on me. This one isn't doing it. And I am putting, look at my arms. I am putting weight on this thing. So that one didn't do it. Let's see if it does it here. That one didn't do it. And there's another one. Holy, this gets really high. It gets high. And that one didn't do it. You probably won't see me all the way up here, but you probably have a good look at my pants. I am pressing down fully, and it's not moving. That is a win, because I was so disappointed in the Manfrotto one that I had that I would press down from the top even after tightening everything, and it would just slip on me. So when I was just out there shooting, my video would just drop, uh, not even the video, the whole camera would drop in my hands because I was putting pressure on it. I do not want that to happen. So this is definitely something. If you're getting into video, this is a thing that I would carry around at all times. One, you can beat somebody with it if you need to protect yourself. Two, it's a great thing to put your camera on so that you can get... I want to set this up right. There. Now it's set up right. So now you would put your DSLR on top. You would sit there and shoot the video. You can move forward like this to make it go this way or this way or this way, all while doing this with a nice fluid motion. You could even rotate this thing to the other side right here, and that is probably where I'm going to leave it. Oh, and you got this thing too, so you could rotate that way. But it doesn't have a bubble level that you can light up, but it does have a bubble level. So that is the Ben Row. what model is this? A for aluminum 48FBS4 video monopod. I love it. Gonna stand like this. This big ass boy, I was probably in the $600 range. This is just massive. We're gonna test it out. But this is what I'm really happy with. And you saw that I put all my stress and pressure on it. Didn't have an issue whatsoever. So Alan carries these. Uh, I thank Ben Rowe for sending these out. We're gonna run them through their paces. But thank you, Postman Fro, for bringing them to my door. And there you guys have it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.